Hello. Hi, Hi Tyler. Nice to meet Great you. Great to meet you. Come on in. My name's Audrina Patridge, and Tyler might recognize me from The Hills, yeah, First Look, or maybe Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, come on oh, this I way. Oh, I love this. <laughs> When the door opened, I did not recognize her, but I could immediately tell that she was actually pregnant. So have you ever read A Pregnant Woman before? You know, I have. Probably not this late into the pregnancy. Well, does that ever change anything? It's a good question, actually. If anything, I think it can even help kind of make that connection to loved ones on the other side. Mm -hmm. It's really important for me to have my family with me, especially my Aunt Connie, my Grandma Betty, and my sister Samantha. We're all very spiritual, so hopefully we'll get some communication. Um, I believe our loved ones are a piece, and so when they come through, they show or will reference two specific family dynamics or a random piece of information okay. to talk about. And so as I start scribbling, basically that's my way of opening up. Got um, it. And at that point, that's what we're gonna do here. I'm just okay. gonna scribble. Generally, I hold on to objects. Um, okay. Do you have any objects today? I do, actually. Oh, nice. So should I give you those? Awesome, One I think at a so. time. Perfect. It's important for me to connect to this person because um, it just happened, you know, it was unexpected and it was the most recent tragedy that's happened with our family. God, it makes me get teary-eyed smelling this. <laughs> when it comes to the timing of her passing, immediately she's apologizing with the timing of her passing because of the day that she died. So on the day that I actually passed, there's either a holiday or a celebration. Oh yeah, that's startling. Do you know if there was any birthdays within family because she's saying she didn't want to ruin the, and she shouldn't be an event and the way this is coming across. Jackson's birthday. Yes. Her grandson's birthday. Or that's, yeah, yeah. not sure. Which side of the family was she specifically on? On my dad's on side. On your dad's side, yeah. okay. Because I feel like when I'm connecting, um, she's referencing to what made her passing actually unique was this progressive mental decline, mm -hmm. where I feel like I'm actually not cognizant or not as aware uh -huh. as I should be. Now, it's an interesting thing. I feel like I slowly see myself shift and like I'm not the person that I was when I passed. Yeah. But the feeling is like there's questions about what exactly was going on completely with my mental state and my emotional state yeah. before I passed. And she highlights the last two months of her life. But yeah, she's, she she's referencing to withdrawing from family. Yeah, she did a little bit. Does that make sense? Yeah. It has to be my Aunt Darla. That smell was her. She progressively kind of after her mom passed, she kind of right. got depressed and sad. Sure. And things changed. I feel like when it comes to my emotions and my feelings, she kind of gave up. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting is that she acknowledges and does mention that it feels like I'm apologetic for either what I hid from family as far mm -hmm. as like what I did to get through the day. Wow. Or I'm apologetic for what I did to handle this. Okay. So that's a big one. Yeah, I think I, I think I know what she's trying to say. My Aunt Darla used to be super happy, loud, laughing, and just to see the way that she changed. Yeah, it was really hard and, you know, we didn't know how she was feeling and her state of mind when she passed. And it was something that you kind of have to hear for closure. Hearing what Tyler was saying, like, that was real. Sometimes I have like the same vision and feeling yeah. of Aunt Darla. And I don't know like, I don't know what it is right. or what it symbolizes. Well, it's intuition, absolutely. And it's something we all have and something yeah. we all can connect to. My cousin Jeremy said she gave him a wind chime and it never made a noise, but the night that she died, wow. it was making sounds. So wow. he swears that it was her, wow. like gave him hope and yeah. That's amazing. Well, if there's, I mean, I any validation, I just got the chills. The so I'm like, if you if you can give a medium the goosebumps, yeah. that's a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like immediately as I'm going here, um, I do have to talk about a grandfather figure that's wanting to come through. He's making a connection to mom's side and acknowledging like, I'm on mom's side, I'm on mom's side. He references to progressive decline in health. He's acknowledging a reference to the last three months of life he's really highlighting for me. Uh -huh. But there's an acknowledgement with this of a feeling of like, I know I'm sick. I know I'm not well. Do you know who in the family had to be taken off of the life support to your knowledge? I think it's my grandpa Bob. That would be your mom's side. 
He's like wanting to talk 100 miles an hour. <laughs> when I'm connecting to him and referencing to his passing, the feeling is not wanting to be kept alive artificially. Yeah, my grandpa Bob was in the hospital. Okay. Yeah, but then he chose right. just let me go, don't give me any medicine. He immediately is having me um, want to talk about a very close connection to your child and the way this comes across. There is an acknowledgement when it comes to the birth. Mm -hmm. There's a reference to the actual placement of the child. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel like the child is actually placed in like the right way, not well, significant. She's breached. Okay. <laughs> the joke, the, the reference, he's having me, he's showing me you, and he's joking about a headstand. I don't know what this is. Oh, I was doing that the other night. <laughs> making fun of you. Oh my about God. It. <laughs> so I was trying to get her to turn around. So I thought if I go upside down <laughs> off and on, it might help. That's funny. I don't know. I love it because he's joking about I'm saying it's the weirdest vision of you doing a headstand. He's like joking about it. So I was being watched. Yes, you were being monitored. <laughs> So is he kind of watching over her too? Absolutely, very much so. He has just as much of a connection Yeah. because I believe that they're together. No one knows about that, that my baby was breached. I literally just found out at the doctor's yesterday and the fact that I was trying to go upside down, trying to get the baby to move, who would have known that? <laughs> He did want me to mention a reference um, to the fact that he actually, um, well, how do, I, how do I word this? As Audrina's grandfather is coming through, I immediately got the feeling that there was a bit of hesitance in his communication because he was referencing to what felt like a family secret. It, he's like, mm, yeah, he won't let, he, he's not dropping it. So I have to like, how do, how do you want me to put that? <laughs> Jumping into my clients' personal lives can be a bit of a navigation because I never know what's going to be coming through or where I'm going. It's a bit like jumping into an ocean and not knowing whether I'm going to be swimming with some friendly dolphins or some stinging jellyfish. It's completely unpredictable. Right, okay, so he's having me want to talk about, I hope we know about this, but he's talking about two families. Oh, wait, this is confusing. Oh, wait, does he have kids from another woman or something? Um, maybe your grandpa had a family when he left your grandma. If I had to put it completely honestly, this he's saying that there's two women that have my children or two women that I would view as being part of my family, but they aren't related. Oh, goodness. <laughs> he did not biologically birth a child with another woman. Then he had to have been like a father figure to some other people, like some other people's kids maybe. Oh. But he's saying he didn't want his first family to feel neglected by the family that he got to know a little bit later in life. Because he feels, and mind you, that if he stayed, it actually would have been worse. Okay, this makes sense now. Because I didn't really know my grandpa Bob too much sure. until right before he passed. Right. Um, so my grandpa Bob is right. my mom's father. I didn't meet him till I was 14. Right because he left when my mom was really young. Right. So yeah, we didn't really get to know him until yeah. a few years before he passed. Right, um, reference to jumping states. I'm sorry, not to interrupt. He was jumping states. There was a lot that happened with, with him. He was an interesting character. Yeah. Um, I, I think if you dig within family enough, I honestly think you'll find it. Interesting. So we might have to do a follow up and see, yeah. see what grandpa was up I to. I think we will. <laughs> <laughs> but in a good way. This has been amazing. It was so nice to meet Absolutely. you. Absolutely, likewise. Well, thank yeah. you for having me. When people pass, you feel their energy, but you don't know what they're trying to say. So with Tyler being able to get those words out and make all the connections, I would just get the chills like, wow. This is Carol Penny. Oh, hey. It's so great to meet you. Nice to meet you, <laughs> meet you so too. Nice. What an enlightening experience, honestly, to think they all watch over us yeah. through the years. And what a gift that is. Mm -hmm. oh, Thank absolutely. you. Oh, <laughs> Bye.